Well, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. St. Enadoc Golf Club today. He is actually that much taller than me. He's not, he's not stood on anything. Joe Cruz, assistant pro here at St. Enadoc. Assistant, yeah. We're going to try and get as many holes as we possibly can in because, well, 30 mile an hour winds at least. Bit gusting, of bit of rain. But we're going to try and get as much as we possibly can done today. Break par, me and Joe. We'll catch up with him on the way out, but let's get out of there. First hole, just over 500 yards today off the tees were off. Um, slightly down off the left, so I think you should be able to reach today. Driving into a bit of an upslope, so that takes some distance off, but yeah, I think it's pretty friendly compared to what we might be uh, have in store. <laughs> so the lowest score you've had around here, Joe? 64. 64? What yeah. was the par? 69? 69. 69, yeah. Five under par? Yeah, match the course record, but it was placing, so it didn't count, oh. unfortunately. Robbed you? Yeah, it robbed me. And there's the pole in the middle that you're kind of aiming up here and let it cut back on him from there. That's all right, held it up on the breeze. Down the Bounding there. down, a little bit blind over the top of that sand dune there, but... Absolutely fine. That'll do. As an opener. Driving for Dan off Driving the first. Me, uh, I, I like that shape that you were talking about up the left, let it just drift back. Yeah, I haven't got, quite got that shape in the bag, but that I was stone. trying. Can you see that stone there? Kind yeah. About that. Maybe just round it. Yeah, lovely. Just peeling off to the right a touch. Quite top. far up there, actually. Still not going to see anything down over the top of that hill, are no. we? Right. Oh, the luxury of a buggy. I don't think, I don't even know if I've ever buggied around this golf course. Oh, they have been uh, very nice to us today. I think they, they have taken pity on us with the weather. <laughs> now, I have played, well, St. Anna Dock many, many times, certainly in my amateur days. We did do actually do a course vlog out here. Uh, myself, my brother, I think Bernie was there, and I think James Pickard were there. We went out and did a combined stable foot, which was fun. But I don't think I've ever broken par around this golf course, ever. I think in a Cornish festival, I may have finished like level par or one over, which was pretty good on the day. Um, but today, par 69. Um, course slope in 72. Course slope is three or already three over for us. Scratch golfers, should we say. You turn pro off, what, plus three, plus four? Plus three, I think I was. Plus three. I turned, yeah. So I think if you can get round here today in 75, I think, yeah, I think you won't be too lower, far. Yeah, yeah, you 75 or lower would be good. 72 or lower is very good. Yeah. Very good today. Yeah. When you get down to the first fairway, you don't feel like there's much wind, but it's when you get That's over it. that marker pole is where it yeah, starts really opening up. On top of the hill, I think, we'll, uh, we'll feel the full force of it. What have you got? I've got three wood. It's a bit of a funky lie. Yeah. I would, I would probably hit a long iron, but I just think it might come out a bit low, so I'm going to try and hit chase as much down yeah, as you can. Yeah, just get three with up. I think I could probably get front edge okay. over the marker if you can see the top of it. Yep. That's a cracking shot straight over the marker. Maybe a bit a little left? Left, maybe. Yeah, great strike though, mate. That'll be there or thereabouts, yeah, I would think. Pretty good. So I've got 235. I feel like I want to hit three wood, but I'm going to go with five because yeah. it is slightly help and I need to get it up quickly. Yeah. So this is off the down slope. You've been a little bit stuffed with a lie off that tee shot, haven't you? Yeah, not the best, but that's Lynx golf at its yeah. best, isn't it? i just got to get it up early. If I can get this up early, I can get it right in the wind. Oh, that'll work. Right, Chase. That'll be lovely. Straight down it? Oh. Oh. Literally on the back edge. Is it? Yeah, it's rolled back down off the back edge, isn't it? Good shot. Thank you. Oh, taking that on the first. A pretty good leave, really. Yeah, not just bad. Short. Downwind. With the rain, it's just that extra moisture as well. I think it's going to skid, so. I might nasty try. pin. Well, this whole green is just nasty yeah, in general. Yeah, wherever you are, really. I'm, I might try and play something a little bit lower and just chip and run it. So I think if I play anything higher, it might just skid. Skid a bit, yeah. We've had obviously there's lots of low bit. cloud today little pitch and wedge chip and run and just try and ride this spine a bit. Okay. 
nasty green it's sort of lots of little runoffs and troughs around it which you can get on the wrong side of a slope and then you're in all sorts of trouble Going. There's a the spine he's carrying, he's trying to get it right in that. Yeah. That's not bad, is it? Let me take that to be fair. Not bad at all. It's kind of left you the flattest putt you it's, could get. It's that I think. type of green you can miss it from there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> now we'll take that. Lovely shot of Dan's there with his five wood. What are you seeing? You're right, this is nasty kid. It's kind of sat right on top there. Right it? on a little knoll, isn't it? Yeah, I'm always like, like just make me look very silly. Yeah. It's just about pace, isn't it? At least you got the, I suppose at least you got the wind into you. Go, go, go. Barely. On line. Right on line. Just that wind, wasn't it? All right, Joe, with about probably 12 feet. Yeah. Outside chance of a bird. Yeah, I think it's... I'm kind of reading it off the right, if anything, but with the wind, I... I'm not far off straight to go. Okay. Yeah, you got to play for the breeze. Especially on these greens because there's such little grass on them. Yeah, super quick. Beautiful at this time of year, getting ready for the season. Just held out there, didn't it? Great part. No damage. No damage done, just the par for you then? Yeah. You saw mine held out there, didn't it? So I think the wind's. Yes. Depends out how, how much you want to. I wouldn't give the hole away off the right anyway. Lovely, yeah. great four. Yeah. Gold dust today. Gold. <laughs> Second hole. Second hole, four thirty. Into and off the right, uphill. Toughest hole in the golf course. One of probably, yeah, probably the toughest. I'd say, especially today. It's like part two, part fives, isn't it? Four and a half today. Yeah, four and a half. <laughs> a very good four and a half. Even <laughs> a five. First, the first is a four and a half, yeah. and this is a four and a half. Exactly that. So um, it's more dangerous when you get up around the bunker area. At the, at the yeah, green, front right. It? It, if you can get, if you can miss the green left in two, you've always got a chance. I know the pin's quite far right today as well, so yeah. you, always, you open it up a bit. But yeah, front right's dead. Never saw it. Where's that? Just down the left. Be fine. Left side of the fairway. Okay. Driving for Dan, I think is all of it. Feeling uh, waterproof jacket coming off in a minute. Yeah, lovely. That's everything I've got. Good ball, that. Down the left half. Yep. Good enough. Opens a green up for us. 182 pin. 182. Shot scope telling me 185 to the middle, 199 through the back, and you do not want to be through the back. You don't want to be, you don't want to be through the back. You don't no. really want to be sure. No, <laughs> just hiding by the buggy here because it is just starting to rain. I've just taken my walkproof jacket on and it's started raining. Try and not mess around with that flag. What anything, you... anything middle or left of the green. Is what good. club? I've got a five. Probably start it at the flag and just let the wind. Do its thing. Do its thing, especially with my shape. Hold there. Yeah. Is it okay? Fine. Held on? Yeah, he's just to the left of the green, that'll be fine. Anywhere near the green is always good down here. Plenty of plenty of room. And I think five for you will if you hit it at the flag, it's enough to get there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So hit you've it, got you're not you won't be toying around with the front edge. No. Okay, five on for me then. A bit yeah, that's pretty good I think. Kind of coming in so flat. If I if it landed on the green, it would have pinged through the yeah, back. Yeah. I think. Yeah, this, I think that's pretty good. Rain. Be pin high. Joe, just coming up a fraction. Well, pin high, just short pin, pin high. High left, yeah. On the left. Got a little bit of wind helping. Got a 50 degree. I'm just going to try and pitch it over this down slope and yeah. skip it on up there. Yeah, again, funky green. Lots of humps and bumps. Yep. Nice, caught a little bit of the down slope. Yeah, just but I would say carry it forward. pretty good. It just caught the, it exactly. skipped, didn't yeah. it, on that on that wet part there. I think a yard the, further, it would have been. Yeah, uh, it would have been absolutely stone dead. Really Got to be off the left that touches. Yeah, uh, I think it will straighten it. The, the pin's in a bowl, isn't it? So, I think it will straighten at the end. But I think it's it's more about pace, isn't it? Keep it on that left side and. Yeah, there's a little bit of feather, almost like a feather. Yeah, yeah, there. rolling inside that. Just inside that. 
Oh wow. Shot right yeah, shot right. Then. Pretty good pace though. Oh, sneaky little uh, little logos in your cups. Yeah, logos in the cups. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice touch, isn't it? Well, four four, and he's come um, to play. I'm absolutely he's loving that. Absolutely come to play. Right, Joe yeah. left with a little, little bit of a well, slight downhiller. Just ran by a fraction, didn't it? Yeah. And Joe, you grew up playing here, didn't you? Yeah, grew up playing here. So remember, twenty years now, I think. Twenty so. years. They made you honorary member. Yeah, they have. Yeah. For winning the county champs, how many times? A couple of times. A couple of times. Which is always quite a nice touch. I'm thinking right half, maybe. Right half. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's got to wiggle that way a fraction, hasn't it? I think so. Oh, I just pulled it. It just went early there. Just pulled it a fraction. Okay. Take your five and run away, mate. Easy done. There's always a couple of bounce back holes. Third hole. Third hole. So, key that I always think when playing Lynx golf courses, and we've played a, a few, well, we've done a few now, obviously, we did the one at, at Newquay with Gilly. Yeah. In these brake yeah, pars yeah. and things. Is, you know you're going to drop shots, don't you? Yeah. You know 100%. it's going to happen. Where the golf course will take away from you and the weather conditions will take from you, there are other holes out here that you can start to pick up on, aren't there? Oh, yeah, definitely. I, it's just... <laughs> golf in general is a game of patience, isn't it? But in this weather, I think you've just got to stick in. It's more of a... I think it's more of an attitude. Yeah. Um, Not to give up. Because so it's yeah. so... I mean, you played so much amateur golf that you saw it, didn't you? Yeah. Especially around places like this where people just almost like give up yeah. from, from not... And how, getting a good start. how often do you get in and you've maybe shot a few worse than you could have and then think, oh, I've only lost by one, two, or yeah. anything. I could have eased by just stuck in there. If, bit, if you dug deep on those yeah. two holes that you messed up Hold a bit a or whatever, exactly right. A bit right, more yeah. attention, yeah, so yeah. it's just um, definitely patience in this weather. Yeah. Third hole then, tell me. Four, two, five, I think, off this tee, but it's not playing that today, downwind. So we're just going to try and nudge a three iron. I would say, I know the flag is front left, so I'll probably favour the right hand side just because it gives you a bit of a better angle. Yeah, across Ang the road, angle over into the wall, the, and down to the green. Into the pin. Yeah, that's good, really good. Just a little draw off the right, bringing it down over just the right of that marker pole now. Should be okay, but Yeah, that's perfect. Great hit. Down. What club we got, down? I've got three iron as well. Three iron as well. Literally, Joe, today I'm following you. So I'm, because of the scar tissue that I've got on this hole, particularly down the right, yeah. I do favour the left when I'm yeah, playing that's it, right. just because it, of that. It's horses for courses, really. Left, yeah. you've got a shorter shot in. It, exactly right. And right, you've got a bit of an angle, so. Yeah. So he's down the right, and if it if it cuts back, perfect. If it stays there, yeah. no drill drama. I think yours and mine it's are pretty good, good, I think. Just left of the marker pole. Yeah, you just split the uh, granite stone in the marker there, I think. Lovely. Okay, 188 middle, 174 front, but it is downhill, so I'm going to take off probably about five yards downhill. Yep. Uh, wind now slightly down out the left, so I'm thinking I'm going to play it to kind of like the front, maybe 170 mark, so I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with the seven iron, just to ride the wind a little bit. That's the thing, the play's kind of, with that pin, your miss is front right anyway, so. Yeah, I don't want to be long here. No, all. I think that's enough to yeah. get to the front. Ooh, go. No, that's come out like a really knuckly. That short left. Short one. left, maybe. I don't think it's got over that. I think up. it's short of the mound, yeah. 168 front, 182 shot scope giving us, 195 through the back, which I don't like through the back. Yeah, again, the misses sound like a broken record getting on defence, playing defensive golf, but the miss is right here. I'm going to be aiming 15 of it, and I think with my shape and the wind, it will kind of... OK, middle of the green, then. Middle of the green, yeah, hopefully it stays there. Yeah, smart play, holding it up on the breeze. That's OK. He's all right. Just ran off a little bit, leaving himself a nice uphill putt there. That, that'll do you. So, just approaching Dan's ball, and it is underground. Plugged. Proper plug. Take a little drop. Okay, anywhere nearest point of that point there. 
Oh, so oh like a dream. Do you know what? There's a tiny, tiny shelf here. And if I land this, I've literally got like a, like a dustbin lid. Little bowl. You got one, you've basically got one shot, haven't you? I've got to be aggressive enough to land it to that point. Yeah. And then try and stop it. But if I leave it short, it's going to kick down to the bottom. If I go long, it's going to kick down to the bottom, so you may as well give it a go. Fly, fly, fly. Go. Don't think you could have landed it much better, to be honest. Foot. Foot short of where I wanted it. Yeah. But it'll do. Pretty good. We made our way down to the green. You can see mine's just finished up. Uphill putt, which is always nice. Yeah, I'm Joe. taking my medicine. Missed it right. Not a bad miss, as you yeah. can see. It's. Um, I'm it's thinking over that. Tight. See that little sand patch halfway. Yeah. Is that an old, what's that? An old hole? Yeah. It's going to go a lot at the end, isn't it? It's got to sweep off that slope. You would have thought. This is a nasty pin, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. The front. Wow. The first three pins today. They just. They know I was coming or something. Yeah. Someone. <laughs> someone, someone made an alert. <laughs> someone must have. Protect the course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No course records. Today. No. Not today. Not on camera. Thank you. Go. Travel, travel, travel. Bad. Nice. That's tidy. That'll do ya. That'll do ya. Good pat. The dam's got about 18 feet up the hill, would you yeah, say? Yeah, what do you think? No, I don't see a lot in no, there. No, I think it's kind of evens itself out, does it? I don't see a lot in there. So I just, I don't know what you think about this, but this is something that I, I think about a lot, is that for me, the damage was done with the second yeah, shot. Yeah, 100%, yeah. So, if I hold this putt, it's like a bonus to yeah. me. Yeah. If I roll it up there, make my bogey and run away, it's yeah. kind of like I've made my five in my head already. Yeah. And if it goes in, then it's just a bonus. Yeah, exactly. It's travel, good. Travel, travel. Oh, it's got to. It's got to move that way. I thought it? it had to. Bang on with the starting line. Yeah. Like I say, it's a five, but yeah. it's, it's all right. I see so many amateurs that get themselves into such a pickle with maybe a, a chip or a bat or a putt that they blame it when actually yeah. the shot before was the, the problem. From, even from here I I want to see it falling right but I, after yours I... Do you take note of what other people do on the course or yeah, do you just try and... It, it, it always it depends there, on it? the situation I think. If it's in front of you yeah. then it's hard not to no, not absolutely. to look but... Well done. Tidy. Very <laughs> straightforward. Good putt. Okay, we've got the fourth hole here. They've done some amazing amount of clearance just in front of this. Well, this is the back championship tee, isn't it? The blue, yep, tee. blue tee. What have we got? 320 yep. as the crow flies, though. It's a bit of a dog, it's a great little hole. Um, you want to be further up the right. So you're the hugging an, the wall. For the angle in, but then you're hugging the out of bounds so much that it's um, anything left is fine, but then you've got a horrible angle yeah. into the green. So it's just at that over this bush really, just on the corner of the out of bounds. Okay. On the telegraph pole, try and chase one up there. Driver in hand. Driver. Oh, that is perfect. Absolutely spot on. Be good if it goes. Up you go. Yeah, that. Go on then. That should open the green up yeah, just maybe. perfectly from there. You might even need to be a bit further than that, but I'll take it. That's it's pretty in bounds. Good. Pretty good. <laughs> now with this wind, I see the shape. Just I know yours is a natural draw a bit, but I, I like to sort of work it. Yeah, with it. Yeah, that's hundred percent. Unfortunately, I haven't got anything else in the bag at the minute than a big draw. But you're just working with it. We're just working with it. Winter golf. A little bit left. It's okay though, isn't it? He's fine, yeah, there's a little path down there. Really like we said, it's um, a <laughs> bit of a struggle with the angle, but... Right, we've located Dan's ball. Proper tough. Bit of a thick lie Proper here. Tough. Are they re... Uh, are these new bunkers up here, or are they... No, they've just redone them, yeah. They've just now visual. Re the bases, yeah. Case of taking okay. your medicine. 60, 68 yards middle, 56 to the front. I just want to get it... Kind of on the green, if yeah. He's, he's got a bit of a wall as a back slope, so anything up there is uh, is absolutely fine. And with this tuft, I'm trying to just almost like hitting a little draw. Yeah. 
58. That Probably works stop. nicely. Yeah, that'll be good. Probably won't stop, but it'll do me anyway. No, I'm sick. Yeah, all good. like you say, take your medicine again. Yeah, run away. Okay, shot scope telling me you got 34 yards to the yeah. front, 48 to that middle, which is basically where the flag is. Yeah, again, it's just tricky. I'm going to have to go. The further left I aim it, the more it's going to kind of break to the middle of the green, and then obviously I risk bringing in that horrible slope down the left. So, so even though you've made a cracking drive, you're actually in a position where yeah. you... I think if I was here, a bit further up, I'd have a bit of a better angle. Yeah. I think if I can get it pin eye eight, ten feet right, yeah, that'll probably be a, a good play. As I say, the further I aim in there, the more it's just going to end, that, end up trundling down there anyway. Yeah. So. If we can hold on to this weather for the rest of the round, just this is going to be... Land it short. Fantastic. Scoot it forward. Club? 54. 54. <laughs> ah, it's skippy. Yeah, I mean, it's it's 12, 15 yeah, feet it's now, but it's it's okay. Maybe a yard further into the, into into the, the slope. slope. Yeah. Better. Probably about as good as you can do, I think, from your second shot. I'm more than, to be honest, I'm more than happy Take that to, all be, day. Just could, to be putting. You certainly bring a big number in uh, into that. Just such a big tuft, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't see a lot in this. Again, I see kind of like it maybe just a little bit moving out the right. Going to be doing a bit of both. A bit of both yeah. again. Again, if you can get the pace, it's... Uh, all downhill when it gets over past your ball. Your marker Get there. something dropping in. Pretty good pace. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take, take that from that position. Pop it in for a four. Lovely. I'm in. Got my four run away. Yeah, even from there, that's the that's the thing about this golf course. It's just 30 yards away. Yeah. I'd probably take that. All day. Just because you can run, you can so easily run up a number. Yeah, problem is you've got this down slope just over the front edge here, so anything anything coming in that angle it's just gonna kick like it forward. Tee, unless you're up by the wall, yeah, which is, no which is out of bounds by that wall, so you've got to be very careful. So I'm gonna hit this pretty straight, I think. Okay. Go on then, go on then, go on then, go on then. Oh wide. Okay. Good. Still. Four. Can't take your four. Grumble at a par in no, this Take the fours and run. Well. Fifth hole then. Fifth hole straight into the teeth. This is a nasty little uh, green really, isn't it? Shapes from kind of left yeah. to right and uphill Again, from left to right. Again, there's a couple plates, especially with that flag, you don't want to miss it. You don't, ideally, you don't want to miss it right because you're dead. One, four, six to the actual middle of the green. Yeah. Playing. Pins, pins at the back, so probably playing we got 162, so probably play about 160, yeah. one, I don't know, 158 to that flag, but into breeze. Yeah, I've got six. Yeah. Just trying to take a bit of speed off it and hopefully knock it down. Okay, so take the spin off the ball. Yeah, just Love knock it. it down a touch. Grip down, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Where's that? A little re leaky right? Leaky. It might be short enough that it's okay. Okay, just down that right side. Have I got enough bat here? Um, I think you have. You want to be under the hole, ideally, anyway, don't you? With um, you've got definitely got enough to cover that trap, I think, if you had okay. and six as well. Just want to take like you take the flight down. Yeah. Well, out the left as well, isn't it? A yeah, into and out the left. Come on, Wayne, get that ball. Like the shape. Little pulley, wasn't it? Sit down. Yeah, he's okay, alright. I've got a 100 foot putt. On the surface. But we're, putt but we're putting. <laughs> Wandering down with Joe's ball. Bunker there. Why do they call you Maverick? <laughs> Your brother calls me Maverick. Isn't it Paul that calls you Maverick? Yeah. Well, that's a reference to Top Gun, I think, isn't it? The Tom Cruise. He'll be, oh. devastated. He'll, be <laughs> he'll be devastated to know I've never actually watched it. <laughs> no! Oh my god, it's I've one never of my... Told, I've never told him that either. It's one of my favourites. Never watched it. Okay. Right, I'm going to try and pitch it up here. Okay. 
Yeah. They'll try and land it just, just there. All wants to kick in off that I'm right just side. Short enough to have a little bit of an angle. If I was maybe even where towards you are, right? Yeah. I'd be absolutely stuffed, but Okay. Try and skip a sixty in. Get in. Oof. I was gonna grab the edge of the hole there. That's such a good shot. Very good. It's gotta be what, 60 feet? It's gotta be 60, yeah. Uh... All of that, I think. Yeah. Just a bit worried about it falling into that little... Uh, yeah, it's a tough little spot there. So there's not really a miss with that flag. I think you've done pretty well off the tee. Somewhere kind of just left your ball. Yeah, there, big yeah? old, big old swinger. Again, the more you hit it up there, the, I think the more it's gonna... Yeah, move itself back down. Gonna wander down. <sighs> Two cut and run, eh? Yep. Any par and run. Go, go, go. Oh, it's so, so slow up there. Okay. A little bit short. Just talking about how nasty some of these flag positions are. Yeah. What are you setting up? Well, you got a big qualifier coming up this weekend or something, have you? Someone must have annoyed the head green. <laughs> right. Big old swinger here. It's got to be up here somewhere, I think. Yeah, got to be. Just going absolutely sideways at the end. Yeah. It's just about committing to hitting it hard enough on that line. Come on round, come on round. Oh, what an up and down that would have been. Well, lucky, mate. Well, Tee shot kind of... I did exactly what I said. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. A bit low. <laughs> Not the miss. Okay, I've got it just a smidge outside left. Yeah, a little bit straighter, more up the hill with you. Yeah, just pace, really. Yeah, good stroke. Well, even mine then ran out of a bit, didn't it? It's... Exactly what we spoke about. Oh, come on, get to the hole. Just that little bit of... A little, little bit of moisture, wet. yeah. Oh, you're so, it? It's holding it up. So used to being, them being lightning. They are oh, quick. Under it's... to over. <laughs> Sixth hole, Himalayas. Rain is still coming down. Yeah, Himalayas. This is a Avoid at all costs. cracking, cracking feature on the golf course, isn't it? Saint, yeah. Royal St. Dave, uh, Royal St. George's kind yeah, of got something got a similar. similar. One, yeah. I don't it's know which. Go, I don't know which golf course I, came first. This one or Saint. I can't remember. Saint I'm sure it, it was. It's in the top three biggest bunkers in Europe. Or something. I heard that. Is one. It? Whether or not that's true, I don't know. That's As an actual point. bunker yeah. rather than a waste yeah, waste that is, area. It is an actual. Um, yeah. So whether or not that's true, I don't know, but I did hear it once. <laughs> okay, what have we got? We got three... 370. 370. Yeah, wind directly off the right again. Just want the ball coming down on the bunker, really. Okay. Slinging a little bit out of the right. That'll do. Straight down over that mound, perfect. I had three iron, but I think my three iron doesn't go quite as far yeah, as yours. Yeah, well, right? I've had to work that. I've had yeah. to basically aim that at the next hole and I'm work go it in with the wind. So five wood. Try and get it down in a similar line to you. Yeah. A bit low in the face, a bit spinny, but should be okay. It's coming down. Yeah, perfect. Should leave a full shot over that. Full track. shot in. Okay, one. It's what? It's actually 153 middle. Yep. There is that marker pole there, isn't there? But you want it to start. Yeah, that that's lid. a fraction right on this angle, just because we've. Okay. They've actually. This used to be fairway. They've grown it up, unfortunately, so we can't pick and place. Okay, so I'm going to start it kind of at that marker and then let the wind bring it back towards the. Yeah. Keep coming. <laughs> Keep coming. It might be short, Joe. Yeah, yeah it might get that. It, could be in trouble, could be stiff, you, know, you, just, you just don't know. Oh, you're actually short left. I'm short so left, so it's, so it's kicked, doesn't it? It's walk, kicked walk. massively. One, five, six, well, one, four, three, front, one, five, gonna, six. I've got nine, just because the lie's pretty shocking. And I'm yeah. going to have to dig it, but after seeing yours, I think eight has eight. to be it. Well, you've but... got a lot of green behind that pin, yeah, so you've I think got... You don't, you'd rather be long than short here. It's just um, trying to dig that out, really. That's it. But we'll see. Try and start it just left of the marker. Yeah. Yeah, I think eight's probably the player. Isn't he? Okay. Hold there then. Hold there. He's running. Just catch the left edge if you can. Just up the back. 
Up the back, yeah, it's one of those. You've one popped it forward, if pushed it on the wind. If I knew it was going to come out like that, I could have hit nine, but you, just, yeah. you obviously don't know, do you? So we've found Dan in the bowl just short. Oh, in the bowl, in the just bowl. Just saying, plenty of bowl. options here. So, could try and flick something high to get yeah. it floating, but I'll be honest, if I had a bit more of a backstop, I'd probably do that. Yeah. So I'm going with seven iron. I'm going to just try and run it up. Seven here. iron. I just want to make sure that I get a decent strike, get it. Yeah. Get it up there. I like to. I don't like to bump them into bunk. Yeah, bunks. you always land on the flat, up. flat spot short. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And just push it forward. And if it, you know the damage has been done here now already, so I'm, I want to make sure I get past the flag. Yeah. Um, I get too cute on it, because it'd be back, it'd be back past here. Push it forward. Just trundling past. Yeah. Right, Joe, coming up through the back of the green. Almost a bit unlucky that you stuck up yeah, there, really. Yeah, stuck up there. It's such a slope. What club you got? I've got a 60, just because it's such a down slope that it's going to come out like a like a pitching wedge, really. Oh, um, easily, yeah. Just there on the side of caution, even here, you're thinking it's five feet past the hull. Yep. And you end up where, down where you All are. running from left to right. Make sure Downhill. I keep my weight on my left, nice wide stance. Yeah, stability is everything on this shot. Don't try and lift it, let the club do the work yep. for you. Pop it down the left hand side and hopefully it skips forward. Come on then, down you go, down there you go. Be. Keep going, keep feeding. I've Good effort. The air of caution that yeah, if got it him. came out too hot, it was um, off the front. Off that the you'd front. be chipping where I was. Yeah. What are we seeing? Got kind of about 15 feet down the hill. Yeah, so we've, we've just so everyone's aware, this is a little old oil spill from a machine. Happens every now and then. The guys can't see it in the mornings when they're coming up this way yeah. or down that way. It does happen where you get a bit of an oil leak. Maybe it. Maybe a fraction less than what you think, just because of the like we spoke about in the last, the moisture. Yeah, I agree. Oh, oh just... great effort. Wow. Flashed that across the front. That move. Of course, it's lovely here, isn't it? I bet in the summer it's like a proper little sun trap here, isn't it? Yeah. Bit of shelter from the wind. Yeah, it's the only place that there is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you seeing? Just that left? Yeah, just left. After seeing you, I'll probably go a little bit more, but just drop it in. Go on then, go on then. Yes, Joe. Great putt, very good. We found one. Tidy, well done you, mate. Did it do much past it? Yeah, it did a lot of swinging. I got it sort of right half. Yep, yeah, right half, good stroke, I think. Yep, well done. Tidy that. Oh, it's still a bogey, though. Still a bogey. It's still a bogey, gone to two. What are you? I'm two. We're both two now, then. Just making me feel better, I think. Yeah, both two. Seventh hole. This is uh, this is one of my favourites on the course, this. Yeah, cracking. Since they put the new tee in up here, um, the yellow's down there and you blind tee shot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're losing losing a lot of the views. Yeah, the view there, is so. beautiful here, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And, uh, 400 yards. 400 yards, playing a bit longer today, I think. Yeah, bunkers um, down the left, bunkers down the right, and then a couple around the green. Yeah, that that one down the right, you, you're not getting anywhere near today. So okay. it's just a case of avoid trying to avoid the ones on the left. Yeah, pins front left as well. So if you can hit it right edge, you might have a bit of a better angle. It's really good. Bit necky, knuckle. But... Yeah. That's gonna be a long way in. Yeah, it is, but friendly green. I would say this one is uh, one yeah. of the more friendlier greens out here. I think the pin, here. the pin is in a bowl as well, so you've got a little bit of uh, relief. Right, down with driver as well. Okay, jacket's gone on just to see if it'll stop the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get the brollies up in a minute. That will definitely stop it. The problem is, the brolly today just blew away. Yeah. 
Okay, I like that bunker. There's two bunkers down the left. I want to camera them at them. And then yeah, the window is like the window it's thing. A little yeah. bit right. Should be fine. Just went off the face. Yeah. Great right. 152 left edge of the fairway. Yeah. Pretty good spot. Yeah, not bad. Into out the left. Into out the left. Yeah, so with my shape, that's actually kind of into the wind. Yeah, you can, uh, fight, you can just fight the wind and yeah, stall it nicely. And to be fair, left, there's a big slope on the left that if you catch it, it could feed down a little bit. So. Yeah. I'm going to go pretty much at the flag and okay. hopefully uh, try and put a better swing on it than I did on the pit. Just hold on, got a decent flight out of it. Stop, stop heading to the uh, next yeah, tee area. A little bit nicey. Yeah, it was a little bit. A little bit nicey. Chipping a, chip a putt. Chipping a putt again. Dan's bald. One, what did you say, 140? 140, straight into wind. I hit a six from back there. If I get a little popper out of there. Yeah, that's punch, the thing. It's just go through the wind, so I'm going to eight because of that. I, I think if you play against the flyer, that's um, probably a wise decision because there's nothing wrong with short here, to be honest. No, I just don't want the eight to balloon too much. No. Oh, see how knuckly that is. That's Could be lovely. Oh. Brilliant. Can be like first. That, that should, that, like with a little bit of spin, that's not getting to that no, bag no, at all. Not at all. Because it's come out with no spin on it at all. It's just, you could see it flighting through the air. Yeah. Seven iron, that's, that's through the back. Yeah. Probably one of the flattest greens on the golf course, really. Yeah. It's certainly big. Another one I've missed. What's that over the back of there then? That's, uh, that's rock, is it? No, that's Padstow over there. Oh, that's Padstow. Yeah. We're in rock. We're in rock, yeah. We're in rock, and Padstow's over yeah. there, which is Rick Stein's. Yeah. Who else has got anything over there? Is there any more? Um, Paul Ainsworth. Yeah, Rick Stein's Paul Ainsworth, yeah. Rick Stein's put it kind of on the map. He, really. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the one. He's the one. Expensive fish and chips over there. We've just had a conversation with Buggy. You are a non... You don't even... You've never surfed. Never you've surfed. lived in Cornwall. Oh, you didn't say you were going to tell people about I it. can't believe it. <laughs> okay, no, what have you got? I'd like to say it was uh, too busy practicing golf. When I was yeah, younger, but that you've got to choose, haven't you? Surfing or golf? I've got a little 50. Okay. Just try and hands forward, get a little low on skipping. Just think with that moisture, hopefully it will. Yeah. And tiptoe over the slope. Just getting it over that bowl. In that bowl. Oh, then keep travelling, keep travelling. Just miss the slope. Dan's a lovely shot in here. He um, played for the flyer and got it a little bit less spin and tell you what, oh, 15 right. feet. It got a bit more roll. It was down. Wasn't yeah, it's um, there's a bit of a false front here. It's a, that pin looked right at the front, didn't it? But it's a bit deeper than yeah. deeper than we it. first thought. I think it will kick it at first and then straighten it out at flatten out when it gets flatten to the out down the hill. Yeah, I think at first it's got to move a little bit that way. Yeah. But I wouldn't give it loads. Come back. Oh. That is not what you need on a day like this. No, we don't need big, massive lip outs, do we? You need those to lip in. Yeah. Good par, though. Okay, I'll take me par, I'll take all my pars today. Yeah. Are you going to play for the wind? Right to left, yeah, I think it's one of those ones I think you can get missing low so early. Yeah. That you're kind of trying to drop it in the yeah. front right. But that's the middle of your hole. Just give you a bit more of the hole to work with. I'm definitely aiming this if you cut right. Come on, wind, kick it, kick it, kick it. Oh, it was a good part, wasn't it? Yeah, I've had a few of those. Can't complain about that one, but it's another drop shot. Another drop one. Okay, favorite, one of my favorite holes on the course coming up next. Eighth hole, talk to me. What have we got? A 150, straight down, straight down the breeze, really. Pins at the back. Is it? So it's 151 middle. Yep. 138 front, 170 over the back of that green. Yeah, you don't want to go long um, with the pin back there. But I think if you're pitching it, 
Yeah, he's just got to be pinching at 150. Yeah. And I think with this wind, it's not it's not going to bounce off, and it's got to scoop forward a bit. So I've got wedge. Okay. Try and throw it up in the air. Steady there, steady there. That's pretty good. Well struck. Yeah, hit that. Hit that pretty well. That's yeah, that's nice. That, that sounded so. lovely. I'm going to yeah. hit nine. I mean, I can't hit, hit it over the back of the green. You don't so. often want to be hitting wedge out your boots, do you? No, but, you um, really, really don't. And I think that you can land. You can afford to land it a fraction shorter, and it will skip on. Anywhere between flag and your ball for me yeah. is spot on. There yeah, and on the safe side. Spin on that. Spin on that. Spin. Tip. Spin. Tip. Oh. How's that not spun? It just took a huge first Absolutely bounce, doesn't it? Hammered that as well. Uh, okay. It may require a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> so how long have you been a pro? Uh, 2018 it was. And you've had, you had a long, kind of a long amateur career, didn't you really? Yeah, yeah. Like you, you were playing for the county when you were, what, 15, 16? Fif yeah, 15, I think. Was yeah. My, uh, was my first game, so maybe a little too long. I kind of wish I'd turned pro a bit sooner. But do you? Yeah. But um, you're enjoying it here, so yeah, doing love, a lot of coaching yeah, and trying it. to do more coaching, as you were saying. Yeah, now the weather's getting a bit better, uh, yeah. getting towards Easter, we're getting a few more people. So Yeah, and you still like your playing, don't you? Yeah, love it, yeah. You enjoy playing in yeah. the county events and in the uh, region and things. In the regional stuff, yeah. yeah, in the summer, try and play as much as I can, so. But yeah, good. How is the standard of golf? Would you say the standard of golf is better than you anticipated or pretty much what you expected? What, in the region? Yeah. Definitely, it's better, if, especially if you want to win. Yeah. You've got to be shooting some good, good seriously numbers. good scores, yeah. Well, you've got guys like your, on your channel, Ruthie, Gilly, yeah. Joe Ferguson. Yeah. So even in the old pro-am, you've got, you've got to be shooting six, seven under. All day. Yeah, to win. All day. How would you say your game has changed since you've been a pro then? Has it changed? It's de yeah, I've def definitely improved. I, I kind of look back on it sometimes and think, how, I don't know how I was then any ever good. Right. Just ever any good, sorry. And what, what, what was it that I think it's technique-wise. You, when you're going through your PGA and you're learning you're stuff, learning. you kind of implement that into your game and realise that you were kind of doing stuff that you might not have yeah. known that you were doing Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you were able to look at yourself and figure but it out yeah, for like, yourself. Yeah, stuff like chipping and pitching is completely different to... To what I used to used to do, yeah. yeah. All right, Dan's just got a little bit unlucky there, straight at the flag, but it just rolled over, over the back. Like you say, the good thing that I've got here is I've got a bit of breeze into. Yeah, a bit of wind into you, so you can hit a little floater up there and. Up. Sit. Oh, play just any better. rolled on a fraction that again it just didn't grab because it was so look how clean that face is because i've got so much moisture between club face and ball it's just not it's just killing yeah it's killing anything yeah, it's taking any spin off it of, isn't it a little bit of fly on it breathtaking views all the way around this golf course yeah it's a nice little spot it is a beautiful spot even if you're having a bit of a tough day okay let's roll one in come on yeah you got a bit bird. robbed on the last didn't you a little bit of lippage I don't really see a lot, again, to be all, honest. That, no, it's just about pace with again. With the wind, it's. I want to see it falling bright, but with the wind, I think it's, I think it's pretty straight. Oh, that's, that's wind kicking it there. Yeah, you saw it at point. You can see it really it's kick at the end. <laughs> really got it. So, uh, you got to remember on the first tee, we were saying how pars are a good score. Again, you know, my thoughts really... Oh, because I've completely short-sided myself there, and I've I've played a decent shot and got myself into a, you know, I got about an eight-footer here. Again, if this goes in, it's a bonus. If it doesn't go in, yeah, like it's just the the tee shot yeah. set it up, you know. Like you say, they they start racking up bogeys, don't they? But you, it's not the end of the world. It's no. yeah, on the lip maybe, just on the edge, exactly yeah. where I got it. Lovely. Oh, hold. Oh, I will take that. There you go. It feels like a birdie now. <laughs> <laughs> take the pressure off yourself. Try not to get yourself too up and down with emotions. Yeah. Again, this kind of wants to kick this way, yeah. but I think wind... I think good pace, I can go pretty... Pretty straight at it? Pretty straight at it, I yeah. agree. 
Very good. Take that. that tidy, a a tidy. Moment, yeah, it? yeah. That, yeah. You sneaking it up and down and me. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's all in his head, look. It's just <laughs> something rattling around in there. <laughs> Too much scar tissue, that's what it is. Ninth hole. Ninth hole. Back up into the, uh, into the, well, into the trees. Yeah, another little, uh, you get a bit of shelter up here by the green, but. 393 yards we've got. Yeah, wind off the left. Chippy um, little driver, I think. It's so you've got a dune in the middle, haven't you, in the fairway? Yes, yes. Big so you, dune in the middle. That's about two. 280 down there. Yeah, and then and then up by the green, a pitch green from back to front, bunker yeah. down the right hand side. Ooh. So you're just gonna hit a little fiddly driver? Just a little one, yeah. I think I could probably hit three with but I think just chip a driver at the flag, really. Okay. Never saw it, where's that? Just down the left. It'll be fine. It really was chippy, but Okay, well that'll do you. Dan's going with the same shot, I think. Yeah, I like Chippy that. little driver. Yeah. Might not be as much draw as I had on mine, but... Oh, I like the high, high bombing. Well, nothing bombing, but just the high fade. Ride it a bit. Ride the wind. Stay there. Yeah, you got it just down the right-hand side, hopefully short of that dune. I think it is. Right, just proper Dan just down the right here. What club have we got, Dan? I've got eight iron. Yeah. It's actually a really good angle into this. Yeah, spike. lovely. Like you're saying, because you've missed it right, you're going a bit more into yeah. the wind now, yeah. aren't you? So. Yeah, no, I just want to ride the wind. Started just a smidgen down the left hand side. Of it. Yeah. See that the wind do its thing coming back. Keep going. Sit. Oh, what a shot. Yo, a we found look. one. <laughs> had a sneaky look as it went past. <laughs> Finally a good look at Birdie. Finally a good shot. <laughs> what you said, <laughs> Watch you on YouTube, Dan. I've definitely seen better shots than this. <laughs> yeah, not in uh, tougher weather on tougher courses. Though. <laughs> what you got? 120. 120. A little bit more downwind than you on this angle. Yeah, you are, right? yeah. So I've got 50 out. Okay. Get it up in the air. Like, I like it. How are we looking? Straight at it? Oh. Ah. I'm wandering round. Where are you? Just a fraction shy. Just got a bit of spin. Oh, there she is. Right there. It's a rare green in regulation. Though. It'll do though. Well, we're both there. <laughs> You're a bit unlucky there, I thought you were closer than that. Yeah, it just skipped on again, didn't it? But it's all right, I'm more than happy with that. Yeah. I haven't marked it, but... Joe's just saying that he's coming up and out of the left, where he's got that putter just there. He's looking at his mark, he's got his aim point, and he's just trying to see what, what it does off of that aim point. Yeah. Good little tip for those of you that want to walk to their point of where it breaks off. I always try and get it at the highest, like you say. Highest point, the highest point. and then let it, and then it think see what it does. back here, it, I'm going to go left lippish. Okay. I'm going low. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Come on. Drop. you got to think that gravity's got to take over at some point in that part, haven't you? Well, that I'd like to think gravity would take over day. one part today. I've had a few. It's slid by. But yeah, again, it's another part. It's a part. Tick him off. We're not going to complain. This would be a nice little welcomed bird, wouldn't it? What do you see? Just a little off the right? Yeah, it's got to do. It's got to come a bit, hasn't it? Just a fraction out the right. I think, right, that, I think the wind's going to do anything, or are we I feel protected like I'm here? Protected yeah. Down here. From my side, it didn't didn't come in too much at the end, did it? Didn't move much, but it just feels when I'm stood over it. Yeah. That it wants to be a bit more outright. Yes. Done it. We got one. We got a birdie. We got one. <laughs> Right, we are going to be heading now, we're going to finish 16, 17 and 18, three of the most world-class holes out here. We're not going to go that way because the bad weather is due to come in in the next hour or so. So let's see if we can get the last three done, 12 holes. Yep. 16th hole then, par five. Yeah. 
540, winds off the right. Now they've done some changes on this hole a few years back now, haven't they? Yeah, it's extended got a, it right back. Ten years ago now, yeah. Was it? The, um, it's about 80 yards. 80 yards. 80 yards 80 pushed yards it further back. Yeah. yeah. Further back. One of my, I would say, one of my favourites. Literally, maybe top three holes on the course. Yeah. This yeah, one. It's three crack, like you say, three cracking holes to finish. Just I tough. Mean, yeah. This and 18 is great holes. Yeah. 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 Then you got a nice uh, tough par three wedged in between. Yeah. So 539 yards off this back tee, over a dune, over the over the marker pole is the ideal line, and then it meanders its way from right to left up towards the green. Bunker front right, if I remember. Yeah, bunk, two bunkers on the uh, right, right hand side, side and one, and on one left, left. Yeah. and a funky, funky green with a yeah. subtle Mackenzie wrapping right away through the middle of it. Yeah, it's uh, you can leave yourself an impossible part. Yeah, your front the pin's back right today, and if you're front left, yeah, I've never seen anyone get it closer. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going to start this quite far right. and Joe is going to start this at Padstow yeah. and then bring it back. Yeah, he's done it as well. Started it in the estuary. That's really good, Joe. You're taking the pole out. you got a bird's eye view to the green from there now. It's perfect. Think you can get there in two? Possibly. It's like once you feel like you've got your score on this golf course, you've then got these three holes yeah. to deal with yeah. coming in. Yeah. Like the amount of people that I've seen just completely collapse. Yeah. And that's the thing, like I always say, so our stroke index 18, we won't play it, but that's the 15th today. Yeah. We'd be hitting four rides in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. no let up on this golf course, no. and it, even when there's no win, there's no hole that you identify no, and think, brutal. I'm going to make birdie there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just left to the marker. Yeah, there he is. Just appeared there somewhere. Well, we've both got a view to the green, Joe. <laughs> Shot scope telling me 281 middle. That pin is at the back, it's 300 over the back. You yeah. think we can get there? Mm, maybe not now you've said that. I'm just thinking with, like I say, this wind is basically downwind for my shapes. <laughs> yeah, I agree. But... And I think it's the I first time... It's, it's, it's a battering three wood for me. Yeah, I think it's the first time that I've outdriven you all day as well, so... I thought I'd mention that. Just, like, three wood? Three wood? I think just at the bunkers on the right. Yeah. Do strike. Turn in a fraction left. Go on. He'll be fine. You're chipping up the green there. Pitching up the green. Yeah. Quite a good line, actually. Yeah, that'll do me. So, a little bit closer. You got 260, about 2, 259, 260 to the middle, 276 to get you over the back edge. Yeah. Three wood, I think, yeah, like I'm you said, you get it out the right and let it chase. I'm going to have to start it <laughs> quite far right, I think. Then again, if I overdo it, there is a quite a lot of rough left but I'll have a better angle for the yeah there's plenty the of room shot. there isn't there yeah so I think it's started traps right of traps yeah right of tra I'm thinking in the inside edge of left edge of this trap oh, just short like right here off and up slope so probably go on give it a rip let's get it on the front edge at least quite a proper knuckle wasn't it it's it be okay Similar to you, I think. Didn't see it down, actually, that one. Just low. It was like a proper high strike yeah, off the face, a proper of a, bomber. Uh, that upslope just fatted it a bit. It'll be all right. Speaking about, you got that slope front left. So now we we have to judge it perfectly riding it. Yeah, because right you've got that Mackenzie in. running th Anything straight right in the middle. Anything right is going to end up short right, and yeah. if you hit it through, then... But, you, but you've got a bit of a backstop there, have you got you a not? little bit of a backstop, but it does tend to, just left of it, it does tend to just nestle oh, and stay there. like a bottle, yeah. like a little... I've got a nine iron, and I'm... Okay, you're going to punch something and chase it up? Just try and chase it. Ride the wave. Slow. I just if, think with As this... a Cornishman, you should be able to ride the wave. <laughs> It'll be the first time. <laughs> I just think with this lie as well, yeah. there's no, no margin for error, it's not... Yeah. So I'm going to little nine iron. Little flick push forward. Yeah. Get up. Oh, I like that. Go on, chase, 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 chase. Go in, go in. Oh, that's, that is, that lipped out. 
I can't believe how much that was moving as it got past the oh, hole yeah. on the right that, side there. When, when I hit that, I actually thought that might be too far right. It goes across that slope. I think that's caught like, the back edge and kind of yeah. horseshoed around the back and come around the front almost. That would sum up my day if it lived out of it. I'm going to go 50 degree wedge. Yeah. Same shot. Keep that up the left a little bit. And then hopefully it skips forward like yours did, really. Ah, oh, don't hit the slope. Come on round. Come on. No, that's good. Is that holding Get up. Oh. Do you know that... And there you go, that was so close. If that had landed a foot further, further it would have missed the upslope, which killed it. And then it rode yeah. the wave down. Oh, anyway. And that's why it's such a good par five, because you However, go you go for it and you're, yeah, you're not guaranteed right. to... Uh... A couple of birdie putts though, yep. time for you to get one. <laughs> Alright, Dan's got a little bit unlucky there, just... What are you thinking? Fraction more. Got to move to the right, hasn't it? At... I mean, looking at... Looking at what happened to yours as it got yeah, up there. Yeah, once it gets up there. Yeah. I think it's, it's definitely going to go. Again, it's just that pace. Straighten. Pretty good. Yeah, I will. Do you know what? I'm going to take my five and run away. Yeah, I don't blame you. Tidy. Tidy. Such a beautiful hole, really. The, 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 the construction of this green is so good. Massive runoff behind Joe there. So if you get it slightly wrong through the back, you're in. Well, you're in all sorts of trouble. Is that you're not getting well, that's that's gonna be difficult slope, up in there. It, it really is like this green if you think about where the slope is it's such a small portion okay down and out your right yeah don't think this is gonna lack pace something for you to take yeah, note I of what he's gonna, doing there if you look at the slope there it's got yeah. to kick it quite a lot what he's doing there by getting, coming halfway getting to his aim point and using his feet as well so he's getting a feeling of where the actual brakes are and what what it's going to do when it gets to that that top point Good something for you guys to try at home if you don't already do it. Hold, come on, come on. Stayed up there. Yeah, it was on that pace, it was dead weight, wasn't yeah. it? Fraction too far. Okay, another par. Another par. 17th hole, par three. Toughest par three on the course. Today it is definitely. Oh yeah, you've got yeah, that other one 11. in the corner, 11, yeah. <laughs> we've must, we've, we've, we've subtly skipped. missed that one. <laughs> Yeah, that is, that's a brute. Okay, we've got 207 yards to the middle of this hole. From the tee box runs kind of all uphill. There's a bunker short right, and then there's a lot of gathering spots all the way yeah. around this green, isn't there? You've got a scope to kind of miss it both sides and feed in a little bit, yeah. as long as you get the club right. So there's a gonna... lot of bowls around here, isn't there, now yeah. I'm thinking about it. When yeah. you talk about the shots, there's yeah. a lot of bowl areas. Yeah, the pin's, in, pin's front to middle there. If it was at the back, it took turns into a bit of an easier hole because it all feeds feeds in you can chase something in but okay three i've got four you've got four iron i'm going to try and start it over that bunker on the on the right long way right and yeah. try and feed, feed it, it in from there that way okay i think it's every bit of it though now i'm back here didn't see it how's it gone coming go ah oh, nearly stay there stay there do not gather front Stay right. there. If it just pitched That's over, okay. If it just pitched over that hump, it would have been quite good. I just spooned it up in the air a bit. So I'm going to go three iron then, based on what I've seen from you. Yeah. I think that's a good play. Can't take your eyes off that beat. Many surfers out there today. Not many walkers either, to be honest. No, there was a few down the front right there, wasn't there? Is that going round to da uh, Damer Bay? Yes, yeah, Damer so Damer's at the, if you if we worked out to the 12th yeah, hole. Yeah, you'd see it there, wouldn't you'd you? You'd see it there, yeah. Okay, three iron for me. Same sort of shot, really. Just yeah. Try and get it flying a bit further. Ooh, go, go, go. No, not got it. Go. Bit. Bottomy? Yeah, I call it so thin. Try to just lean on it a bit. Yeah, easy done. Be a good five wood for me today. Probably better off missing it long today because we've got a sneaky little chip now. Up and over the ridge. Dan's just walking up there seeing the apex of where he wants it going over the ridge. 
Going with a sensible play, little chip and run. Sit. Sit. Not good. Just kind of skip right on you. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's just past pin high, yeah, but it's, pretty good. it's not bad. Are you going more aerial or are you going along the ground as well? Yeah, I'm going to try and... You got what, a wedge or something? I've got a 50. Okay. Maybe hands forward and again, it's just that moisture. I think we know that first land it's going to skip. Yeah. I've had a few of these today. I normally I'd cut it, but with, yeah, the, with yeah, it with being... the moisture, it's just going to hold up a fraction. But I think between the pin and your ball, yep. just get it trundling over that slope. Come on, down you go. Wow. Just wanted to kill it there, didn't it? That was, uh, I thought that would... That should have trundled all the way down to the yeah. flag, that. Come on, a couple of putts to... Uh... Yeah, I'm a bit, I thought that was going to be a bit closer than that, but... What are you seeing? I'm lost, to be honest. Again, I think it's... I want it to fall into the right, but the wind's off the, off the other way, so... It's holding it up. Yeah, I'm going to hit it inside the hole, I think, on the left. Okay. Yeah. Just wants to hold it all yeah. the time, doesn't it? That wind buffering it a little bit, little gusts. It's all right. Don't worry about me. Like okay. Because the because uh, there's such little grass on them. Yeah. It just tends to really push it. Push it. What you seeing with me? Is... Dan's got about ten feet for par. Got to be coming off your left, isn't it? Got to come up there. The fact that yours with your wind. Yeah. Have... I think you've got to play for it, some of the gusts sometimes, don't you? And just give it oh, that man. extra like, few. How in... do you learn that? <laughs> yes, well done. Great roll. He's finding them good, now. It's always a good job I bring my putter with me every, <laughs> every time. <laughs> right, 18th. Let's have it. Well, we've made it. Um, with the wind, the rain, and everything that the, the, the elements have thrown us at us yep. today. 18th hole, talk to me, beautiful hole. Yeah, one of the best on the course. Yeah. Got 450... Four, 446 off 446 the tee. 446 off the tee, yeah. Yeah. Bit of help down off the right, I think, now. Kind but, of, me at, like, you've never got a flat lie here, have you, for your no. second shot? And then no. working up to the green, you've got bunkers left and right. Yeah, you've got the pit middle right. So left's not the worst miss in the world today, if you get it yeah. going there. And then pretty flat green, isn't it? Yeah. One of the flattest. Yeah, you got a little slope going up to it, and then yeah. uh, it probably is the flattest, I'd say. Yeah. Guns away, yeah. driver in hand. Come on then, big finish. Show us. Make a birdie. Yes, go on, chase. Chase down there. Go on. Mr. Stone. It's all right, just on the left right. side of the fairway there. Absolutely yeah. spot on. Quite a good angle. Yeah. Down with driver as well. I feel like you can give it a bit of a ride with this wind. Yeah, I just feel... I almost want to shape it into it, but on the same scale, I don't want as much yeah, out Yeah, out of it as you can, yeah. Kind of did a bit of both. Yeah, just a bit high and right, wasn't it? It's okay. It'll be all right. Uh, probably a long shot in, fighting the wind too much. Well, I found the right hand side a bit, just puffed up up into the wind, didn't you? Yeah, I really did. I just... Do you think this is helping? I think you can argue it's straight off it. Okay, well, I've got five iron. It's a good five iron for me. I'd... 193. Yeah. Come on. Good shot and finish. Straight at it. Everything I have out there, Joe. Set, set, set. Cracking. Might be long. Sit, touch long. Good oh. job you got a caddy, isn't it? I'm, I'm longer than I. Could you put in that at three iron? <laughs> Cracking drive, like way beyond me. Yeah, 145? That controlled little hook I've got yeah. going at the minute. <laughs> I like it though. If you can, it's the thing, isn't it? If you can control it, it's a, it's a weapon. What are you thinking? I've got nine out. Yeah, I think I'm going to go nine. Start it at that chimney and 
yeah, and work it work it in. Oh, Go on then, be the number. <laughs> Might be a touch light, came out a bit flying. Yeah, that's not bad though. Joe. Yeah, a bit of a nasty one here, really. You've come into a right little smelly spot here, really, haven't you? Like, you've got, it's like, talk about bowls, but this one's oh, fallen yeah. into this, like, spot here where it's all running down. He's on a down slope. He's got to go over this bit and then round there. It's it's one of those that you wouldn't, you probably see a lot of players chip this yeah. and, like, flick it over on top and then let it spin. I got a feeling someone like Shane Larry would be flicking this up. Yeah, maybe pitching it on that dark spot. Yeah. I'm going to go with putter. putter. Just try it. It's, I think it'll feed left to right at the end, but it's just getting it on that point. Yeah. It's doing quite a lot, isn't it? So. Outside chance of Outside a bird. Outside chance of a last bird. Yeah, come on. Those dunes in the background. Stunning. Oh, wow. Start. Pretty good. And that, I'll take that is one of the flattest greens on the course. <laughs> How much that <laughs> moves. <laughs> I'll take that. Well, I mate. Yeah. It's in. It's in. We're done. Well, this would be very well done. A delight if this popped in, wouldn't it? Well, your putter has uh, been working the last year, so. Yeah. You get me on decent green, you see. It's got to go a little bit right at the end, isn't it? Just drifting Just that way. Generally drifting, yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. Got it all feeding out from that left to right there. What have you? How how far out do you think? Inch or two. Yeah, I think it's less than I originally thought. Come on then. All downhill as well, though. Yours just kept going, didn't it? Right, Try. Right. Oh, good roll. It's just right at the end, wasn't it? Just as they're drying out, the greens yeah. are just quickening up a little Starting bit. Starting to quicken they? up. Very good. Ah, well we played go, that man. What a golf course that is. Well, the sun's come out now. The sun's come out perfectly. <laughs> We're going to go out and do a bit of droning now, but I just want to take this opportunity to thank St. Enadoc, thank Joe for showing me around, no, caddying round. Thanks for having me. I was uh, one over in the end. One over, very which, good. Which wasn't bad. A few ahead of me. But... Yeah, just a couple ahead of you, but not too bad. Um, big thank you to you guys for watching. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Joe's going to go and subscribe now as well. I am, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you all again very soon. Cheers, Joe. Cheers, guys.